Howdy and welcome to the Ears Podcast produced by Terrier TV. I am Alligator Rob. I am joined today with Bill. Uh, Cindy escaped on us. Yes, yep. she has She has left the building. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? How are things going? I'm good. I'm good. I will tell you what. Tell me. There has to be a special level of hell <laughs> that is all meetings. Okay. Where you have to go to meetings all the time. I had to go to Vieira today, go to a meeting. Oh, my goodness. It was rough, huh? Well, yeah. Yeah, it was, and, and kind of pointless. And was it somebody speaking very monotonely to? No, it was a bunch of different people oh. telling you stuff that they've already told you before. And They're reinforcing what they were telling you. Yeah, that's it. That's what it was. Yeah, we'll go with that. Hmm. And um, anyway, it was just, it's one of those things that, you know, and since COVID, we haven't done it a lot. Okay. We haven't had in-person meetings. And, <laughs> and I realized, I don't know, maybe it's my personality. I'm just not. That is not for I me. I don't think anybody truly enjoys that unless there's something wrong with them. I don't probably. think so. Yeah. I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah, I uh, went down to Vieira a couple of weeks ago now and did the Brevard County Public Schools SmartCast podcast. I was a guest on it. Oh, that's right. That actually, that finally happened. How'd that go? It was pretty good. They aired it uh, yesterday, so it's on their website now. It was, it was good. Um, they have a, a very nice little studio, and it's... Um, it's pretty cool what they have going on there. Um, yeah, it was it was nice. Oh, cool! It was nice. It was a good conversation. I invited them to come up here and, and see what we're what we're doing and what we're up to. Right. So we'll hopefully we can kidnap them up this direction sometime. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. I'd like to see you know what they. So how long was their show? Um, I think the entire podcast was maybe twelve minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So they went from starting the thing off, I think, a year ago when they started doing theirs. They only did a couple of episodes, and they had it specifically uh, for um, different things that were going on at the school, as in uh, more more aimed at administration and teachers right. in general. Okay. And now they they're trying to open it up to people who are doing things in the community and helping with schools and doing things like that. So okay, yeah, we start our uh, our astronaut high school research this weekend. Cool. So we'll be out with the drone program working on. Uh, different things with them, different ill properties this weekend. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. How cool would that have been to be able to get a, a drone certification in high oh, school? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. That's, That's unbelievable. That is amazing. It different is things amazing. things you can do. Yep. All right. You ready to get into our guest today? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So day, today on the podcast, we are do- joined by Miss Edna Wilson from Celebrate Real Estate. Howdy, Miss Edna. How are you? Hey, good evening. Uh, so tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, your business and what you guys are up to here in Titusville. Thank you. So basically, we run a very small brokerage, and um, we there's five of us, but we are like all homegrown. Like this is our hometown, and so we're very focused on serving our community, and um, especially in the Chamber of Commerce, we believe the Chamber is a really huge part of our businesses, and what like really like helps our businesses grow. It's our foundation of all of our economy, really. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, and what you guys have going on is something very unique. There's only a handful of businesses that I have met that operate the way you guys do. You're literally involved, like you're saying, it being your community, people that are here and taking notice, that they're, they're realizing that because you guys are involved with uh, the different schools and you're involved with so many, I mean, you've been a, a help to us with, uh, with years. You've, you've helped out so many people and you're always looking for a way to give back. And that's, uh, that's pretty unique these days. You know, here's my philosophy. If, if you trust me with buying or selling a house, I feel like it's my job to give back on your behalf in some weird, crazy way. Like I get to give because you trusted me with such a big purchase, right? And it's just, it's amazing. So we're super excited. So this week we actually get to help Apollo Elementary. We're serving all the staff a breakfast. We're taking Mims Elementary, all the staff a lunch. We get to, we, we just are doing so much. It's so much fun to serve our community. Well, that's how you embed yourself with people too and make a, a friendship and a la- lasting impression that's going to stay there for generations, I think. And it feels good too. It does. I'm <laughs> sure it does. I'm sure it does. It's where it's at. So there was a, before I had met you, I had heard about something you had done where you had uh, went around Uh-oh. Space Coast here, uh, the Space Coast or Titusville maybe in general, and looked for something unique and special to do every day, every, every, once a day for a week out of a, every, every year? Actually, yeah, every week. So 52 things to do in Titusville. Tell us about that. Well, my kids said it couldn't be done. 
<laughs> I used to hear that a lot when I went to high school here. There's oh, nothing yeah. to do in nothing Titusville. To do like, in Titusville. Man, and I was out to stuff to do. Yeah. I wanted to prove them wrong because yeah. born and raised here, like this is my town. I can guarantee you there's 52 things to do in Titusville. Did you go to school here? I did. Okay. What right year? Here. Did you, what year did you graduate? Oh, is a lady allowed to say that? <laughs> You're, I didn't ask you how old you were, so I think, I think it's the same thing. That's the same thing. It really is. Yeah, it is No, the same class thing. of 88, go Terriers. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, uh, my uh, my brother was here a few years before you then. He was 84. Okay. Yep. So we would have gone to school together. That's pretty neat. Yeah, but I was out to prove that we could definitely have 52 things to do in Titusville. One, one, one day a week, you could go out and do something fun. Tell us about some of those things. Well, I discovered so much stuff that I had not even done in Titusville. For instance, I had never even been to the Historic Museum downtown. It's, that was fun. It's pretty special. It is pretty special. Like, I found myself in some of the yearbooks and some of the pictures. I was like, ah, I'm in the museum. Who knew? <laughs> that speaks go. to my age. It's been a long time since I've been through that. Through there. The, yeah. It's amazing. It, it was. It was. I haven't been. I don't know what they've done lately. It's funny you say that because I literally just spoke with somebody there yesterday about coming, <laughs> coming on the podcast here and chatting with us. Oh, yeah. That'd be yeah, great. Yeah, it would be. Uh, the history of our town is pretty special. It I mean, is. We have a lot of unique things here. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things people don't even realize that w- were going on from civil rights movements uh, on that mm-hmm. happened here in Titusville. Absolutely. So we at, went out to the Morse Center, but you know the one that surprised me the most was the sleds. You pick them. Have y'all been out there? The, no. The is that the blueberry place? It's the, It is so much more than blueberry. Okay. They had, they had hay rides, they had corn mazes, they had peaches, peaches. You I can, did not know that. I know, you can pick your own blueberry. They had a whole fall festival back in the fall. It was unbelievable. Their wedding venue, unbelievable. So that's where was this? So that's a Mims. Okay, and what was it called? It's called Sleds, you pick them. Okay, okay. It was amazing. I'm going to check wow. that out. That was one of your favorites? That, most surprising. Most surprising. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I like it. You got different labels on things. So tell us about some other ones. <laughs> so definitely, um, you know, of course you had to do the bioluminescence, right? Because Indeed. like, who doesn't think, if you've not been to bioluminescence, you just haven't lived. It's true. It's, it's, uh, I try to explain to people sometimes what it's like and you can't even, you can't even put it into words. Uh, I take people on those tours sometimes and there's places you can go to and literally pick your hands up and your hands are glowing. Yeah, it's. It, it's like something of a Disney there flick. Go, yeah. yeah something of a Disney cool. flick. Very have you special. had the fish jump in your kayak? Oh, yeah. Yep. I've had fish and many other things jump in the kayaks, Wait, too. Wait, yes. many other things? Oh, yeah. Like what? Uh, I've had many of a snake jump in the kayak. <gasps> All right. That's um, not a good advertisement. have lots of alligators swim under the kayaks, but I'm looking for stuff like that, so I'm, I'm bizarre that way. <laughs> yes. Frank may have put some of the snakes that's in the kayak. True. Oh, I did 100%. That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's going to grab it. Yeah. He's going to see it and grab it. They see turtles. You see all kinds of neat stuff. Uh, in the Thousand Island area, you can be kayaking over there and you'll see diamondback terrapins go underneath your, uh, your kayak. Oh, that's cool. Pretty special, too. That's yeah. awesome. One of the rarest critters in our lagoon system. So when you can see them for any reason, it's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. That wow. is awesome. Pretty neat. Yeah. So tell us about some others. So we crossed, we talked about the rocket launches and like some of the best places to walk, watch the rocket launches, right? Down yep. by the river and Parish Park and all that area right there. We also discovered so much about Fox Lake Park and our, um, all of our parks. We have amazing parks here. We do. Yep. And that just, uh, a lot of those are connected to our uh, Brevard County Environmentally Endangered Lands Program, which just got extended through the vote. Yes. That yes. Was, uh, that's huge. Uh, drastically important that that happened and yeah, that was over 70 percent. thank goodness oh yeah yeah very very high well it's important yeah no doubt so we also went out to Oliver canal okay because that's super fun and you know you can see manatees so much like there you can either go to the manatee observation or just even at the boat docking area there's so many manatees to see yeah, people don't realize that we have a you know a national park right there u.s fish and wildlife a national park and a national seashore with uh the Cape Canaveral National Seashore. And oh, yeah. We, yeah. It's pretty epic. It's awesome. Yep. And so then we also went downtown to the Space, um, the space Museum. Okay. So that was also another place I hadn't visited in a long time. And so um, it was really awesome to just kind of see the history okay. from a different perspective, right? Um, and then we also went, um, we went through a lot of downtown because there's so much history in downtown. There is. I mean, there just, there really is. And so that was super exciting just to kind of show off downtown. And I might have gotten an ice cream or two. <laughs> At uh, what, Matt Utters? Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not confessing. <laughs> Man, that place is unbelievable. <laughs> a couple of years ago, I, I toured the uh, Pritchard House. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, it's down there. That's, that was pretty cool. 
That I've definitely heard, made I've our heard list. That's neat. That was pretty cool. I've heard that's neat. Uh, you got to. I think you have to go to the museum in order to to book a tour to that, right? Or can you just go in? At the time, there was some event that was happening there in that parking lot, and so they were doing tours, and okay. so I could just go and go on a tour. I didn't have to do anything special. Neat. But I'm not sure. Yeah, we have so many cool things that are just right here in our backyard. That's amazing. And Chanet Forest, that was another place. Indeed, another eel property. Yeah, another environmentally endangered lands property. Uh, those are the only things holding our the whole county together pretty much. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it. Yeah, it was awesome. Of course, we had to go to the splash pad. I did not get in the water. The splash pad, yeah. Splash pad's a good one. That was super fun. And then even the marina. Like, you can run boats right out of our marina. Like, that's amazing. Yep. People, mm-hmm. you're right. People don't even think about these things. Uh, Claim there's not anything to do in Titusville. There's sure plenty to do here. Back in the day, okay, I lived in the marina. Did you really? Yeah, I lived <laughs> on a boat in the marina for a time, for about a year, when I was uh, like 20 years old. No kidding, I did yeah. not know that. Yeah, I lived on a boat in huh. the marina. It was pretty cool, except you had to you know, walk half a mile to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> So, so do you use, you use things like this to help these businesses market themselves? I did do. You, you put a YouTube video out about this or how, how did you go about doing all, all this when you came? Yeah, so we do, we do it. There's a, all my YouTube videos are on my YouTube channel, but then we post them on social media and tag the businesses in them. So my heart is that the business would get, maybe someone didn't think about the fact that you can go to like River Lanes and play pool. Right. Right. You don't have to bowl. Yep. So what if right. you don't bowl? Well, yeah. Go have a beer and shoot some pool, right? Mm-hmm. So just helping these businesses kind of get a little bit more promotion. Okay. It's a huge heart of mine. What is your YouTube channel? It's just Edna Wilson Realtor. Okay. Easy Pretty enough. easy. And what it, so if someone wants to get hold of you about uh, buying or selling a home, where would they go to do that? EdnaWilson.com. I'm getting, I'm sensing a theme. <laughs> There's a theme here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sensing a theme. Yes. That's very neat. Um, so did you, have you always known you wanted to be a, a real estate agent? No, sir. What, what was your journey to where you're at <laughs> yes. now? Yes. When she was six so, years old, there are some she people, asked for a real estate kit from some, Santa. There are some people that get, that really, that build You think that, that. that that's at that young? I don't know about that young, but it's, there's some people that go into knowing they want to, they want to do something along that line. Okay. Uh, I think you, you don't know if you don't ask. That's true. Yeah. So let's find out. Yeah, tell us all about it. So actually, my background is in nonprofit management. <laughs> and so, really? Okay. okay. Yeah. And I got to the age, a certain age that we won't talk about, <laughs> and realized there's no money in nonprofit management. I don't know if you know that or not. Zero Frank's money. Frank's kind of in a nonprofit, so he's figuring <laughs> yeah. that out. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And I actually watched a friend sell their house, and the agent just really screwed up. I just got to be honest with you. And I was like, Someone's got to be done. Like someone needs to do better. Right. right? Oh yeah. Yeah. And I kind of got angry about it. And so I didn't tell a soul, did not tell a soul and went to real estate school, cried the whole way through it. Cause you know, when you're of a certain age, school gets hard. <laughs> uh-huh. So you did this on the side. Didn't I did. tell anybody? I didn't tell anybody. I told my husband cause I had told him where I was going else, you know, right. could get weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That could get weird. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, um, when it was so funny cause when I passed the state test, the woman just hands me this sheet of paper and I thought for sure I failed. And she, and when it said pass, I was just, I was in such shock. I was uh-huh. like, oh, now what do I do? Right. And I thought yeah. maybe I'll just do it on the side and be like a little sure. side hustle. Right. Cause you know, you can do that sometimes. And I, within, I got my license July 1st, July 4th, I, I wrote my first contract. I was hooked. Oh, wow. Like the experience of handing someone the keys to their first house makes me cry. Like it is just such a amazing experience because you think it's one of the biggest things you do. Oh, yeah. Right. And it's a big stressor like death, divorce, moving are your three biggest stressors. And to help someone walk through that and hold their hand and tell me there's a lot of tears in real estate. It's emotional, especially the last two years where you couldn't even hardly get a house. Mm -hmm. Right. How many times I had to look at you and go, I'm sorry, you didn't win right? That's heartbreaking. But to be that person or to help that elderly person who's time for them to go be with their family and they need to sell, but they just can't even wrap their head around it. To be that person who holds their hand and says, I got this. It's amazing. Hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah. I I didn't really think about all that. It's it's amazing. That's pretty cool. So you really do develop like relationships with these people. Oh yeah. Because, well, because you know what they're looking for, and, and so you, you, you get to know them, 
and and then you then you get to find them what they're looking for. In fact, my very best friend right now walked into one of my open houses, and we just clicked. We've uh-huh. been hanging out ever since. Oh wow, it's awesome. That's great. That is very unique. Wow. So Frank, you can hey, go into real estate? No, no, it's that's <laughs> it's not my thing. I mean, I I deal with a lot of real estate agents whenever there's other critters involved. You know oh, I mean? okay, and, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you gotta walk them through a situation, but uh, yeah. No, I don't know that I could. I don't know that I could work it out. I don't know that I could work it out. It's you'd pretty have, stressful. You'd have to go to school. Yeah, I've been to school. That biomedical degree <laughs> was enough for me. Uh, I think I'm done with school for a while. Yeah, me and me and school have had uh, had words. Yeah, I think this is about as far into a school as I'm going to get these days. There you go. That's yeah. what I feel. People or unless say, I'm bringing animals to the school. People say, you know, you should get a master's degree. No, you go ahead and get a master's <laughs> degree. I'm done. It's what you're saying. Go back to school later on is rough. It's hard. Oh, yeah. It's rough. Yeah. Yeah, I think I. I don't think I went back to school till about seven years after high school to get my AA, mm-hmm. and then it was another maybe five years after that that I went back and got my biomedical degree. Right. So, yeah, it's, Small uh, doses. Yeah, it was, I needed, needed space in between for sure to breathe, and without a doubt, good grief. Yeah, it's, we, all have our, we all have our gifts, and school at some point becomes not one, I don't think. There you go. So yeah. now how long have you been an agent? Just five years. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. How long is, is so did you start Celebrate Real Estate? I did. So how long have you guys been, you guys have been, that, that was your company you started five years ago? So you have to actually mentor for two years in real estate. Okay. And so I mentored for my two years, took me a year to get through broker school because COVID. Okay. Right. And um, so we've been in business for two years. And I must say your logo is probably the coolest logo <laughs> out there right now. Um, I was talking to uh, Jim at Dynamic 7 about, you know, about your logo. I said, man, this is literal genius this logo I, I i think it's one of the more special ones i've seen oh yeah yeah, yeah it's pretty did cool. jim tell you how much he cusses every time he has to work with our logo no he did not tell me that <laughs> he did not tell me that story he hates all the confetti Does all he? over the top of the oh then he must oh, have been yeah. giving me funny words i'm like this is really neat isn't it jim and he's like oh yeah it's great yeah no <laughs> he doesn't like it <laughs> yeah. i should have oh, yeah, read i should have read that one i should have read that one out i did not read it i did not read the situation correctly oh lord so i gave you a little bit of homework you did. Okay. What do you got for us? All right. Well, I thought since, you know, you're in this whole environmental path, I would test your knowledge of our parks. Okay. I like it. Oh, here we go. I like, where you I like where your brain's going. Sure. Okay. How long is the Black Point Wildlife Refuge Drive? Oh, you should know this. Come on, Frank. You got to know this. Well, there's a, there's a marker each mm-hmm. way through it. I believe it's 13 miles. It's only seven. Is it seven? There's 13 markers. Okay. Yeah, there's 13 <laughs> parking lots. I think Abe knew. He was, did, did, he's, you, did you know that one? I, I didn't give him a microphone, so he can't say <laughs> anything. I've been, I've been to every square inch of it. I'll tell you that. But yeah. You know, what so, the, you know what the wildlife drive used to be? No. So before there was a Black Point Wildlife Drive, the wildlife drive used to be the Hexhead Trail, which runs from parking lot three at Play Linda over to Biolab. That used to be the wildlife trail. And then it got a little bit where it was impassable. People were getting stuck on it and stuff. And they closed that and then opened up Black Point. I did not know that. Yeah. There's a, a weird fact for you. Well, one day we were out there and somebody <laughs> was driving the wrong way super fast and flipped his truck into the lagoon. That was, sounds pretty it was, smart. It was quite entertaining. Oh, wow. He was People. young. We're a special bunch. <laughs> All right. You ready? Sure. We're going to jump to Fox Lake Park. Okay. All right. I how just many, came from Fox Lake Park. Well, how many acres is that Fox Lake Park? Uh, Fox Lake Park is par- part of Parks and Rec or behind it part of the ill program? Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> so probably Parks and Recs because this is, this is from their website. Okay. Let's say behind okay. it is a couple hundred acres. Yeah, not that. So park, Fox Lake proper. I would have to say 20, 20-something acres. I say 75. You both are wrong. It's 31 and a half. Okay. Oh, you're closer. You're closer, yeah. though. You're closer. That's pretty yeah, good. There's a couple hundred that's acres back there behind it. That's actually where I'm doing research right now. Well, I'm out there every couple of days. That's fun. Yeah, it's neat. Very well, muddy. So, if you've been a lot of time out there, then you would know exactly how many pavilions are actually at Fox Lake you can actually rent. Uh, at pav- that you can rent, or that are there. Don't forget the big one. You got it. The big that, one. That's one. one. I'll that's give one. you that one. You got that one. And wait a minute. Seven. See, that's, I'd say eight. 
There's 11. 11, okay. 11 pavilions. Isn't I tell you what, crazy? I've done a lot of kids' birthday parties <laughs> out at Fox Lake <laughs> Park. <hasn't. laughs> in, a, in a pavilion <laughs> at Fox Lake Park. Yeah, I don't, see, I don't spend a lot of time in Fox Lake proper. I spend a lot of time in the, the back of it, so it's... Right. Uh, no, we spent time in, in the, the volleyball court. And yep. That is a good kids, volleyball court. Kids playing the That's volleyball. That's a nice playground now. Oh, they redid that playground a few years ago. It's oh, really they? nice. They okay. fancied it up. It oh, is fancy. It is super duper fancy. Oh, cool. Rock yeah. climbing walls, the whole nine yards. Oh, wow. Yeah, they went all out with it. They did. I have to take my grandchildren when they come. Yep, that'd be a good spot. There they would go. enjoy it. All right, you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, how many miles is the Brevard County section of rails to trails? So we have the longest county in the state. No, but see, it only it goes from downtown. Yeah. The trail only goes from downtown to Scottsmore. To the, no, it goes to the county line. The okay. Bavard Volusia County line. Up so north of Scottsmore. Yeah, yeah. And it rides up through the um through the uh well well field. The northern well field. Correct. Okay, um, you're you're right. Yep. But it's right up through there. I'm thinking it's eleven and a half miles. Uh close but no cigar. Okay. It's probably a little bit further than that. Okay. Fifteen, seventeen. Oh, seventeen point two. Okay. Good 2. job. All right, I this one something. This one you're gonna get. <laughs> yeah. Are okay. you ready? Yep. All right. Enchanted Forest. Uh-huh. How many acres are in Enchanted Forest? So there's two sections of the Enchanted Forest, too. Okay. There we go. So there's, uh, there's Enchanted Forest that is uh, south end, and there's the Enchanted Forest that goes up there behind the Dodge dealership. Okay. Which I guess they're, connect- they're kind of sort of connected. It's a big place. Right. But, you know, acreage-wise, how big would you say it was? 75 or... 80 acres, probably. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe 100. She doesn't, she doesn't, she's not nodding or anything, so. It's, it's a big piece of, it's, it's okay. large. I have no idea, so I'm not, I'm not. You're I'm not. super cold. 470 acres. Oh, okay. wow. I should have known that. Wow. Yeah. I, known I that. thought for sure you would know that one. I've done research on that property, too, but that was a few years ago, so that number is no longer in my head, but I should have known that. Well, how many wow. different types of habitats are there in the Enchanted Forest? Well, there's scrub, there's pine wood, there's, uh, there's swampy areas, for sure. Then you have the, uh, the limestone. There's a bunch of different limestone. There's uh, coquina-based. Uh, five or six, probably. Five? Yeah. That's the first one you got. Good job. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Every Good now job, and friend. then I know something. Every now and then. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, so here in Florida... Habitat type actually changes like every half an inch of, of height going up or down. It can change pretty quick. It's, it, we have a unique area. I heard that's true at Fox Lake especially. Like it's, you can do a trail and could be in all of them. Oh, it's nuts. Yeah, up, out there they have, you can be one minute in a uh, high upland uh, sandy area and the next thing you know you're in the swampiest area you ever saw in your life. And the, the loblolly trees are one of the main, main uh, keys to all that, it's, which is our version of the dogwood. It's a cousin of the dogwood tree. They have a big white flower on them. Pretty cool, pretty cool oh. tree. But as soon as you see those, you know you've went from scrub to swamp. That's cool. That sounds amazing. Weird fact of the day. Cool. Yeah. But um, yeah. Well, thanks for playing my game. Yes, ma'am. You Thank did you. pretty good. Thank you. For, you got uh, one out of all of them. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> about right. Go. That's about par for the course. <laughs> There you I would go. say it's about par for the course. Well, uh, so if people again want to go on and find more about you, it's EdnaWilson.com. You can go to ednawilson.com, but they should check out my YouTube video and okay. see. They should literally, we need to support yes. our town. Yes, ma'am. And we need to get out there and we need to do these things. And we need to visit the museums and educate ourselves and find out what makes our town tick. And we need to support local. Yep. You know, and, and buy local. And I'm super passionate about that. Like, we need to give back to our local businesses. Well, businesses like yours that are actually engaged in the community, too, that are making a difference, they mean, they mean everything. And you guys are... You're doing everything you can to give back to our community and to bring awareness to our community. And uh, it, it needs to be appreciated and, and thanked. And we, we definitely thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. It's truly my honor to give back to this town, who I feel like has given me so much. That's where it's at. All right, Bill. Here on to go. next week. Yes, sir. All right. Sounds good. Miss Edna, thank you again. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for hanging out with us. And we will catch you all next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>